Greetings, I am Toglin, Hell's Harlequin, but you may call me Tog. Today, we are going to be looking at the body positivity movement. Their stated goal is to improve overall health, well-being, and encourage healthy lifestyles. On the surface, body positivity seems like a reasonable movement, especially when you consider with the rise of obesity, there's also been a rise in eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia. However, it's not all it seems to be, considering that their other message of accepting every size and shape is incompatible with their earlier message of encouraging a healthy lifestyle. Now, the reason for this introduction is because I can completely understand why somebody might get drawn into that movement. And I want to keep that in mind because I'm going to be reviewing a video by what seems to be a charming young lady's personal experiences with body positivity. Hello, people of the internet. Sam here. Thanks for stopping by. So recently, I've noticed that something has shifted a little bit. Up here and it has to do with my comfort or lack thereof in my body. So growing up I was always overweight. That's just something I've always dealt with. I've always found childhood obesity to be tragic because it's not the child's fault that the parents are enabling unhealthy eating habits. Um, and it's something that I've been pretty aware of from a very early age. The first instance of it being brought to my attention was the second grade. I don't have a clear memory of this, but apparently during then there was a kid who was making fun of my weight. And that's kind of something that would happen occasionally throughout elementary and middle school, although it kind of trailed off into high school and of course in college no one really bothers me about it. Well, it seems like anti-bullying programs might be having some effect because, in my experience, high school is when people are at their most horrible. But the thing is, all of that time, I've been very unhappy with the body that I'm in. It's always been really upsetting that I'm an overweight person. So while growing up, I was happiest with my body when it was smallest. Thing is, I never really reached a point where I was that small, especially compared to everyone else I was going to school with. And that was a big problem for my body image, comparing myself to other people. Um, and I know it's something that you're told all the time, don't compare yourself to others. But in that kind of environment, I couldn't help but compare myself to others and then end up feeling like a freak in my body. Now, if I were a cynic, I would say, if you were so unhappy with your body, how come you didn't try and change it? But being someone who has battled with their weight since they were in their teens, and constantly have to monitor their weight even today, I wouldn't doubt that you have tried to battle with your weight as well. I wouldn't doubt that you've done it many times. Healthy sustained weight loss is a rather slow process. You may only be able to lose one or two pounds a week, which can feel like you're not losing any weight at all and get very frustrated and want to give up. However, if you look at that over a year, it's quite substantial. Now, I know this particular content creator is a vegan from her other videos, which is good because they generally have a lower caloric intake than the average person. But then again, that's not always the case when you consider that potato chips, french fries, and nutter butters can all be classified as vegan. And I wasn't just comparing myself to my classmates, I was also seeing actors and actresses on television and Photoshop models in photographs and on the internet, and that added to the issue even more so. Insecurity about photoshopped images is something I've never understood. Many times magazines make people look like these uncanny plastic things with really freaky knees. It's not uncommon in fashion magazines to use digital enhancements to actually minimize the model's busts and other more provocative curves to put the focus on the garment rather than the model. Recently, however, I feel like something has shifted a little bit. I feel like I've kind of made a crack in this wall of self-deprecation and self-loathing. I've been feeling a little more comfortable in my skin, a little more comfortable in the clothes I wear, and even a little more comfortable with the labels that could be used to describe my body, like plus size. I used to hate the word plus size. I would refuse to go into that section, even if it had clothes that would fit me better. Instead, I would try to squeeze into the larges and extra larges in the regular clothes section, or just not buy clothes at all. 
I can relate to your story. When I was 15, I no longer could squeeze into the larges and extra larges. At that point, I started walking home from school rather than taking the bus. I only lived around two miles away. Also, I was trying on pants at a thrift store, and I found that a woman's size 18 was almost a perfect fit. That's what gave me the motivation I needed to try and take control of my weight. But recently, that's changed a little bit, and I've actually been able to walk into that section and buy myself clothes that actually fit me, and feel kind of good about it. With every trip I take to that section, I'm feeling less and less shame about buying clothes that fit me. And that has been a really huge step in the right direction. I'm actually glad to hear that. Ill-fitting clothes aren't overly comfortable and they don't look good. I feel like the thing that has changed the most, the thing that's kind of helped me reach that point of at least starting to accept my body, is taking a little control over the influences around me and the media that I consume on a daily basis. I've started diversifying my feed, especially on Instagram and YouTube, to include people of all kinds of bodies, all kinds of shape, and color, and clothing styles, and everything. And I feel like that has really made a huge difference in my own self-esteem, my own confidence in my body. Because I'm seeing all of these different types of humans, especially uh, plus-sized ones, and I'm seeing how comfortable they are in their skin, or their honesty with the discomfort that they are feeling, and how they're working on that. And it makes me feel like less of a freak. First off, you're not a freak. You seem like a very lovely and you're a very pretty young lady. But truthfully, you are overweight. And no matter how much you surround yourself with other overweight individuals, it does not change reality. Even if you were the most confident person on the entire planet, that would not change the fact that excess weight is bad for your joints and more importantly, bad for your organs. And it's still hard to completely accept my body because the majority of things I see do make me feel kind of isolated in my experience with this physical form. Last year was when I first tried this experiment of diversifying my feed and searching for body positive uh, YouTube and Instagram accounts. But I ended up for a while ignoring all of those, either unfollowing them or just not watching the videos, because I had this false sense that it was unhealthy to look to these people because they were plus size. Getting legal advice from an overweight or plus size lawyer is of course not unhealthy, but a overweight person promoting their obesity is in fact unhealthy because these people don't fit the standard image of what healthy is. And I'm not going to sit here and say what weight is and isn't healthy. And you see, this right here is my biggest issue with the body positivity movement. The whole idea that there is no healthy weight and you can't dictate what is a healthy weight and what is an unhealthy weight. Most of us know just by looking, there's a visceral reaction inside of us all where we can instinctually tell what is healthy and what is not. At least in the case when those weights become an extreme in one way or another. Now, it is true that someone can look like this and still have health problems that aren't clearly visible. However, it's unlikely that those health problems are due to their weight. These other two ladies look like polar opposites, but in truth they have a lot of common ground, for they are both at unhealthy weights and at high risk of health complications because of that. However, I do know that mental health-wise, I have been doing a lot better in terms of body image because I've allowed myself to start seeing a diverse group of people, especially people who are my size and a bit bigger. It's good to hear that you're doing better mentally. One thing to keep in mind is that mental health and physical health are closely connected. Trust me, I've been to therapy. One thing I've heard consistently from every therapist I've talked to is that taking care of yourself, exercising, and eating well will help manage even the most severe of mental illnesses. So I am far from 100% confident in my body, but I feel like I'm taking a few small steps in the right direction 
partially thanks to these new influences that I'm allowing into my social media feeds. And I know it doesn't always feel like this, but something that I've learned along the way is no matter what, you are worthy of love. You are worthy of the space you take up. You are worthy of people's time, and you are worthy of being confident in yourself. So that is all I wanted to talk about this week. Here's the thing, I can accept that not everybody's going to look like a pageant queen or a supermodel. I can also accept that not everybody's going to be rich, and not everyone's a genius. But to me, simply accepting that you're obese is kind of like accepting working minimum wage your entire life or being illiterate. All of these things are things people can overcome with a little bit of hard work. Now to my viewers. The girl in this video seems like she means well and she seems like a lovely young lady. So if you're going to leave a comment on her channel, do me a favor and make it a positive comment. There's also some new designs in the t-shirt shop, which I will link down below. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in some toggling t-shirts. Anyway, these are my thoughts and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I wish all of you a pleasant rest of your day.